Okay. We're gonna have a segment. Start it again. Okay. Be choppy, but that's okay. <laughs> I wonder why it cut. Take it out, and whenever you are cutting, you want to do nice, long cuts. You don't want to be too choppy. And you're going to go right on the inside of your yellow. And you want everything to be nice and rounded. Okay. It's easier just to cut it on the inside of the yellow, then you don't have to worry about trying to get your yellow off when you get your braid. So, a lot of times you can just get rid of some of that extra material. Biggest thing is rounded corners. Just go ahead and do it whenever you are cutting. And I'm going to put it back in. Get a little warmer. Then the first thing I'm going to do when I get out, I'm going to fold the thin art area and the area by the distal palmar crease. Make it nice and comfortable for my patient. They're going to be positioned with their elbow up. Good. And gently touching. Okay. So I will roll it, make it nice and comfortable for my patient in the thin art area. And on top here. Before I even put it on. Good. Now I will go make sure I'm below the distal crease. Nice, soft hands. Touch your fingers for me. Good. And then right on that thinner area. So once I get good in that, I'm going to make sure I'm pressing into the palm. Good. Nice, soft hands. you got a lot of work with this material. Good. If you press too hard, you're going to have lots of fingerprints. So nice, gentle hands. Third length of the forearm. I'm going to keep coming back to this hand portion to make sure it's nice and snug in there. Snugly. <laughs> okay. And if you twist this, then it's going to be your measurement of your width. It's going to be way off. So you want to make sure that you aren't really pulling on that material. Hmm. Just let it harden. Okay. And you don't want it too thick in here, it's going to rub your patient. So you don't want it to go above the creases there either. So then it's going to rub them. Good. Now touch again for me. Once it gets nice and hard, I'm going to get my, you can use your thumbnail. That's what I usually use so I don't have the yellow again. Come over here. And I'm going to go, I'm going to trim this down a little bit. So about half that was there and not overlapping. Because otherwise you're going to get pressure. Yeah. That area. And then here, we're good up here. And then we get a little wide. So then I'll just trim a little bit of that off. And I'm going to take it off. It's snug enough. And I'm going to just, before it gets too hard, trim it up a little bit. Good. 
And then I will really round it out again with the water. Like I said, it's always best to be, have it a little longer and then be able to trim rather than too short. It's getting pretty hard. Just be careful you don't. See, that is bad. <laughs> I will, because um, it got too hard on me. So I will make sure that I smooth that out pretty good with the water. All right. And then before I do one last check here, go ahead. Make sure DPC is clear, thin are. She can bring her thumb around there. Good. The length is good. Now let's look at the. Good. So yeah. Yeah. So I will um, bubble it. Mm-hmm. Make a little bubble there for that owner styloid. So I'll make a little X. But the rest of it looks pretty good. Might be a little bit more than half, but that's okay. It's rather than better than too short. And then on this side, I will round this out and smooth that. And then we got it. So, you can watch in the splint pan how I do this. If you get all your areas too hot, then you're gonna lose your shape. So, and if you use the heat gun, a lot of times, you're gonna lose your shape because it's gonna get too hot. So I'll just get it a little warm and kind of rub it out my Spots here so it's nice and smooth. Then I'll dip it again. The whole side. Smooth. And as I smooth, I'm kind of rolling it out like that. Ooh, I got pretty. Still be nice and smooth on the patient. And then if I think that I'm getting it too um, soft in some places, I'll just go back to my patient, make sure we're still fitting good. And always look at the hand piece, that's going to be the most important, and then the rest of it. You're always going to want to flare the bottom here, so you'll just stick that part in. Get it nice and warm, and you're just going to flare it out, so you're not going to get pressure at the end there. It doesn't have to be crazy, just a little bit of a flare. Make sure you're not sharp anywhere. bit in there because my water is getting pretty low. But I'll just make sure I bring it back to her. You'll know your pressure points, so you'll know areas that you're going to have to um, So you can kind of see right there. I'm going to bubble out so it's not going to hit her. Now, the fun part, the strapping. So you want to check everything before you start applying straps. And you're going to have a piece of Velcro on the hand piece here, and then one here, and then more distal here. Okay, and then we're going to climb on the side. 
sides here. And up. And I always round them, otherwise they're going to start getting caught. Looks nicer before you peel the backing off usually. pieces on the top of the forearm section. Keep your wrist in there nice and snug. And then the last you will do on your thumb piece right here. Up here first. And then once you the you get this on your patient, they'll really be able to tell you if there's any spot that's gonna bother them. off and round them. You always want your patient to wear your splint for um, a good 10-15 minutes while they're in the um, clinic to see if um, there's areas that are going to irritate them. So you can modify it before you send them home with it and then they have a nice sore spot the next time they see you. Look, how's it feel? Good. Is it hitting you funky anywhere? Mm, nope. Okay. So sometimes um, you have to make sure that it fits tight enough. This can get kind of sore on the patient, so sometimes I put an eyelet there instead of Velcro. Um, maybe I can do that by the class so that there's not so much downward pressure on the back of the hand. Um, or you can always add a little bit of, you can be a little... I didn't do that, did I? No. Okay. <laughs> so you can um, add a little bit of foam back there if need be. Or just, you know, let them know that they can put this area tighter out on the back of the hand. Your Athena is free, and she's still able to bend, touch your fingers. Good. We have three-fourths the length of the forearm, and then at least half on the sides. And you're flared at the edge and you're clearing all um, areas where it could, see how I bubbled it out right there. Okay. And this area might here might need to be pulled out a little bit more. But you'll see if there's red marks whenever, um, after wearing it for 10 minutes. So that is a wrist cock up. <laughs>